My favorite Pokemon region is Hoenn. While I'm attached to Unova for it being inspired by my hometown, I just think Hoenn is the most diverse and immersive. There's so much to explore, especially with all the hidden aisles and caves, and I just love how nature was integrated in most locations. Um, I would probably say Johto. I don't know why, it's just one of those things where it has the most nostalgia, and when, like, when I'm playing the game, it probably feels the most Pokemon to me. You know, it just feels like, yes, like this is Pokemon. When I sit down and think about like playing Pokemon, or if I step away from Pokemon for a long time and I think like, hmm, I really should get back into it. Like the first thing that always comes to mind is like Violet City or like Azalea Town or Goldenrod or Ecruteak. And I know I'm just going in order, but it's just, it's just Johto in and of itself just feels so Pokemon. The Pokemon regions I end up liking the most are the ones that I'm the most familiar with, so in this case it'll be between Kanto and Sinnoh. I think Sinnoh is more diverse than Kanto, like you have the uh, jazzy area of Elstone, then you have the snowy area of uh, Snowpoint, then you have other areas like your own villa at the end of the game, which I've said before. Uh, then you have the Distortion World in Platinum, so overall it's the one that I can connect with the most, I guess. Again, I'd have to kind of tie back into my previous answer. I really liked Alola. I think the fact that there was the four different islands made things really cool. You kind of got to go to different biomes. And honestly, Akala Island is incredible. The fact that you have a jungle, you have kind of a water type area, and then you have a volcano really kind of ties in the fire, water, grass kind of trio. And and I, I just felt like that was so cool being able to take on those three types on one island and just have such diversity, not only in Pokemon spawns and so on and so forth. My favorite region has to be Kalos. It's just the most beautiful region out of all of them. Alola is a nice tropical region, but Kalos just really takes the cake. It's beautiful, it's floral, it has unique environments like the Reflection Cave and the Glittering Cave, and it has desert areas and mountain areas. There's just so much, There's, it's such a versatile region that I just have such a special place in my heart for Kalos. Just, it's the most beautiful region hands down, with some great unique Pokemon in there. Another region that I really love is Kanto in general, because that's just where it all started. I think that has to go to Unova. The region-specific Pokemon were so much different than what I've encountered you know, throughout every single game. Black and White 1, not seeing any Pokemon from previous generations, it was just like a, a whole brand new world for me. Hoenn is my favorite region. It was the first region I ever played through, so I have a lot of nostalgic attachment because of that, and it has some really cool, interesting cities like Fortree and Sutopolis, and I just think it's a really well-designed region to travel through. I think my favorite Pokemon region is Johto, actually. Um, I don't know, I just have the most memories. Whenever I, when I think about this question, I immediately go to Johto, and I really enjoyed uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver as far as traversing through the region. And I also enjoyed the Crystal version uh, quite a bit when I was younger. Uh, so I'd have to say Johto. All right, my favorite Pokemon region is Sinnoh. I really, really like the snowy vibe. I think winter is probably my favorite season. I, I love the fact that it has the, the battle result, the extra island that you can go to and you can get your own house and stuff like that. I love the, the design of all the cities and how different they are. And I think that just the, the snowy vibe in general really brings out for me. Uh, Johto for its lore, um, Hoenn for its mysteries, uh, or for its unique setting, uh, Sinnoh for its geographic diversity, and Alola for how it integrates Pokemon into regular society. And uh, that's probably a lot, isn't it? <laughs> I would have to be the Kalos region from Pokemon X and Y. Now, when they decided to focus on the beauty aspect, it created a region which is just filled with a brim of variety. You've got the flower areas, you've got deserts, you've got snowy areas. It is so much more varied than people tend to accept, and it's just a lot of fun to play through. My favorite Pokemon region would probably be Kanto, just because of the nostalgia of it. I remember playing through red, blue, and yellow, countless times, I've, I've probably played through them a hundred times at most, picking different Pokemon and claiming a different team every single time. My favorite Pokemon region is Unova. It's the most underrated region because for some reason people say black and white are the worst games, which I don't understand. The games are amazing. They have some of the coolest locations, including Marina Tunnel. <laughs> Marine tube three times. Marine tube. <laughs> you go underwater in a tube. That's amazing. 
My favorite Pokemon region, however, is Johto, and I've always thought if I could live in any Pokemon region, it would be Johto, and actually, specifically in Goldenrod, because you're, you're close enough to Ecrotique and Ilix Forest to have the lore and mysticism of the world of Pokemon, close enough to Olivine to be, to be kind of close to the beach, but at the same time, Goldenrod probably has really good Wi-Fi, which is, you know, what I look for. My favorite region is definitely Sinnoh. Hoenn is a close second, but it really does suffer from the, the whole too much water thing that IGN was talking about. Sinnoh has a good amount of water and a lot of diversity between, you know, lakes and sunny beaches and resorts and mountains and icy areas and swamp lands. It just has so much going on in one area and I think it really ties it all together really nicely. Generation 1 has the best, it probably has the best uh, region because of how simple it is and and the fact that the uh, eighth gym is in like the second city you visit which is like so cool you can actually visit the place before the elite four so soon in the game i just i thought i love that whole aspect of just going back to where you where you uh, began my favorite region would have to be Sinnoh, uh just because i've always loved northern kind of environments you know snow pine trees those that whole kind of thing also, just the lore of that whole region. There's so many cool bits of things that are world building for the entire Pokemon franchise. My favorite region is Johto. I really love Johto for its geography. It's got the kind of landscapes that I really enjoy in person in real life. And I really love the historical aspect of Johto as well, because I'm also a really big fan of history. Unsurprisingly, my favorite Pokemon region is the Sinnoh region. I absolutely loved everything they did with that region, you know. Uh, it just felt like the most complete Pokemon region, in my opinion. You know, they had all of the baby Pokemon, all of the evolutions, and while they did have some regular new Pokemon, I felt like when you played through the game, it was there was just so many different Pokemon from other regions. It just felt complete, you know, and there were so many cool features, like the underground was awesome, I loved the Poke Radar hunting, and I really loved going against Cynthia. I still think she's the best champion of all time, a really great challenge, and I just think Senno had a lot of things to love. Favorite Pokemon region, of course, would be Hoenn because, like I said before, my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Sapphire, and I spent so much time in Hoenn. Like, I love it. I don't care if there's too much water. I just really love Hoenn from the third gen. I don't really like the sixth gen rendition, but third gen, that, that's where it's at. I guess I kind of also have to side with the Hoenn region being my favorite region in the Pokemon franchise. I mean, first of all, the Pokemon. Uh, can, can we talk about the Pokemon in the Hoenn region? They're just amazing. I mean, the starters are fantastic, being Torchic, Trico, and Mudkip, one of my favorite trios in the entire games. And then there's also just the regular Pokemon within the Hoenn region. And then there's also Lily Cove with a very elegant lifestyle and theme. And all of these like city layout stuff have got a very interesting and different tone within them. They're not like all the same. They've all got something different, something special to them. Hoenn was great, but I think Sinnoh really brought a lot. You have the hustle and bustle of Jubilife City and Sunny Shore City to the more quiet places that include Eterna Forest and uh, Snow Point City. And I think the soundtrack really amplifies the region. That's part of the reason why I love the region so much is because the sprite work and the music combined really build this beautiful environment. If we're going on which region I had the most fun exploring, then it would be Gen 3 Hoenn, without a doubt. But on the visual side of things, I think that specifically Gen 4's Johto is the most scenic region. Kalos comes close, but I just really love the colour scheme that they went with for HeartGold and SoulSilver. At the same time though, I can really appreciate all the detail in Black and White 2's Unova as well. The best region in my opinion has to be Hoenn. I just love the many mysteries that it has to offer, especially with the Regis. A lot of the routes are massive and easy to get lost exploring in, and the ability to dive underwater and continue exploring was a great touch too. I just love the many things that they did with that region, and it's hard to not have a blast exploring Hoenn no matter how many times I play through it. Sinnoh. I love that there's this huge mountain in the middle, I love that Darkrai and Cresselia get their own islands, Shaman has its own really long path, it's just the most beautiful region in my opinion and I hope we get more games with Sinnoh in the future so we can see it in its glorious 3D form. Thank you guys so much for watching and a big thanks to all the wonderful Poketubers that participated. Please check out part 2 right now if you haven't and make sure to check out the description to understand more about this project and the YouTubers that I interviewed. Of course, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified when parts 4 and 5 come out. If you enjoyed, leave a like to show your support for the series. Bye!